It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Pine Street Brewery and it's a can of their Atom Splitter Pale Ale. It's 5% ABV, brewed with Centennial and Cascade hops. Really looking forward to this one, American Craft Beer I picked up in Cardiff in Wales. Nice bit of foam there on the opening. Using my Dr. Brew glass. Beer in the glass then. Whoa, look at that. Lovely four finger tan coloured head. A nice amber red mm. colour to the beer and nice levels of carbonation. Quite a clear beer. Should we get the aroma? Wow, wow, wow. This is this smells fantastic. Even through the four fingers of, of densely dense head, the aroma is fantastic. You really do get that centennial. It's like an orangey aroma, like an orange peel, flesh, fresh blood orange. Really punching through. I'm going to dive into this one. It smells really good. Cheers, everyone. Oh yeah, Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, this beer is awesome, absolutely awesome. Great drinkability, great levels of carbonation, nice bit of sweetness, but this beer is all about the hop profile. That centennial cascade hop that gives you a bite on the back end. A lovely grapefruity, as I said in the aroma, that blood orange in the aroma follows through in the taste. There's a certain denseness about the mouthfeel. It's got a kind of a, it seems a little bit heavier than, than say your average pale ales. But I think that's just the amount of hop, the hop oils that's actually in this brew. Kind of sticks to your lips, sticks to your palate, kind of carbonates on your throat and then it releases that lovely bitterness on the back end. Really tasty brew, really drinkable brew. Um, yeah, let's carry on, shall we? Let's carry on drinking. It's got a certain brown ale element to it in, the, in terms of the malt used as well. It's a darker, slightly kind of, more of a slightly, slightly, slightly roasted malt about it, but there's lots of biscuit in it. There's lots of bready malt going on. Also, there might be a little bit of rye in the beer. You get that kind of slightly spicy black pepper rye taste in there. The beer deserves its name, Atom Splitter Pale Ale. Pine Street Brewery, nice name as well. Piney aromas, there's a little bit of pine in the taste. But they're from San Francisco, San Francisco established in 2011. And yes, yeah, a 12 fluid ounce can. I'm really, really impressed with this beer, really impressed with it. I'd like to try some more beers from these guys, really good. That bitterness is just long in and lasting on the back end. I reckon it's about 50 to 60 IBUs. And it's just a really well put together pale ale. 5% ABV. I could drink three or four cans of this quite easily, run a barbecue, put some chicken on a barbecue, some sausage, or, or equally on an autumn's day when it's a bit cold. Uh, you could just have this to cheer you up when, it, when you've kind of been out all day in all weathers and you've come in and you've kind of showered up, you've had your tea and you want to sit down and enjoy a beer. This would, this would be the beer that kind of put a smile back on your face after a hard day's work. Should we give it a rating? Pine Street Brewery Atom Splitter Pale Ale, 5% uh, ABV. I like that. I like that. I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.